At the end of the Second World War, a group of non-Jewish British intellectuals decided to convert and become Jewish. Basically, their rationale was, if you're not part of the solution, you'll become part of the problem. They saw how Germany, the most civilized country in Europe, had descended into unparalleled barbarity in just a few short years, and so they decided to become part of the Jewish nation. Rashi comments on the opening words of Pasha Yitro, and Yitro heard. Says Rashi, what did he hear that made him come? The splitting of the sea and the war of Amalek. Why of all the great miracles that the Jewish people experienced in Egypt should these two events have inspired Yitro to convert? The nation of Amalek has an implacable hatred of the Jews that is without reason, it's instinctive and visceral. Anti-Semitism is as normal to Amalek as breathing or eating. But not everyone is a born anti-Semite. The majority of people will always be in the middle, neither Jew nor Jew-hater, waiting to be swayed one way or the other. Yitro saw that if a person doesn't act on inspiration, not only does that inspiration wane and fade, but it rots and becomes its opposite, revulsion. He understood that if he did not act on the inspiration of seeing the unbelievable open miracle of the splitting of the sea, that he too would eventually become like Amalek, cold-hearted, disbelieving, an atheist, a Jew-hater. Anyone with an eye or an ear for current events will be struck by the supreme irony of the accusation by South Africa that Israel is committing acts of genocide. The concept of genocide was coined by a Jewish lawyer, Raphael Lemkin, to describe the Nazi atrocities. Alone, among the 17 judges who deliberated on interim measures in the case concerning the application of the Genocide Convention in the Gaza Strip, South Africa versus Israel, of all of those, Julia Sebutinde of Uganda voted against all proposed provisional measures. In her lone dissenting view, she argued the absence of a credible indication of genocidal intent by Israel. Genocide is the intention to obliterate a nation, not the ghastly concomitant casualties of an urban war where civilians are used as human shields by cynical state terrorists. The slogan, from the river to the sea, is indeed a cry for genocide. And what about the other 17 judges? The Jewish people may not have many friends, but it warms the heart when, like Yitro, someone stands up and wants to be counted with us.